the frothing technique is all about finding the proper steam position relative to the surface of the milk. If you are too low, the milk won't get enough air in. And if you're too high, you'll either get too much air in or make a really big mess. So the idea is to start with the steam tip just below the surface of the milk by one to two millimeters. Then adjust the depth so that you can hear the occasional riffs which indicate small amounts of air being sucked into the milk. Now, whether you want to make a super fine micro foam for a latte or an aerial froth for a traditional cappuccino, the start of the process is the same. You want to get as much air into the milk as soon as possible. This is because the milk will take in air when it's colder. For a fine latte froth, all of the air should be in by the time the outside of the pitcher starts to warm. At this point, you can position the wand a hair deeper into the milk and find a tip position and angle which causes the milk to roll. This rolling really helps break up any larger bubbles and mixes in the milk to create a uniform texture throughout the pitcher. For an aerial cappuccino froth, you can continue sucking in rifts of air for a little longer. You can judge the froth by its expansion in the pitcher. When you get the desired volume, lower the wand into the milk a hair and continue rolling. I recommend steaming to a temperature of about 140 to 150 degrees for best flavor. If you can get much hotter, then you'll lose the texture and the flavor. If you don't have a thermometer, you can hold the milk pitcher to feel the temperature. The general rule of thumb is that if it's too hot for you to hold comfortably, it's probably ready. When you've reached your desired temperature, shut the steam off with the tip still in the milk. Remove the pitcher, wipe down the wand, and don't forget that final purge to get the residual milk out of the steam wand. After steaming, if you find some larger bubbles, you can knock and swirl the pitcher a few times to help break up and mix them. 